So it's not every day you're heading to the coffee shop and you just run into a blacksmith, a working blacksmith shop. I love daily vlogging. <laughs> Roll the intro. All right, so in the vlog today, it's kind of a combined vlog, a little bit of yesterday, a little bit of today. After the awesome footage at the blacksmith place, rushed home and I got home and there was so much to do and so much going on that I figured I would just finish the vlog this morning. Today I've also got a lot going on because I'm prepping for a trip here next week. That'll be a lot of fun. Also, I'm approaching the 50th vlog, which is crazy. <laughs> it's crazy to think that this is number 48 already. And then vlog 49 is gonna be, it's gonna be a little weird. It's gonna be different. It's gonna be something um, I'm gonna be sharing that's a little out of my comfort zone, but that's what this whole thing is about. So today I had to film something really quick, just a, a quick clip for uh, A. Joe, his channel. He's doing a cool, cool video with a bunch of people and he asked me to be in it, which I, I was very grateful for. So thank you, A. Joe. Also today, there's a deadline. Uh, it's four o'clock Eastern, three o'clock uh, Central Time to submit the B-roll challenge for October. I missed out on the last one in September, so now the rest of the day I'm hustling to try to finish up filming the pieces for that. I, I'm not sure what people are gonna be doing for the uh, for the B-roll challenge. I want mine to be like actually scary. The theme is Halloween and you could be as creative as you want. You could do a 30 second story, you can do whatever you want. And I, I grew up loving like suspenseful thrillers and stuff like that you know, horror films. I'm gonna kind of draw inspiration from some of the directors I love uh, in that genre and hopefully come up with a 30 second clip that will genuinely uh, make you look over your shoulder once you're done watching it. So with that, it's raining outside, which is actually perfect for this, this B-roll challenge because it gives it that eerie, it just amps up the eeriness a little bit. So I'm gonna go out there, knock that out, have to rush back, start editing and get that done. So. I will check in in a little bit. All right, so another quick update. It is still raining outside. It's been raining for days and days. We've had tons of flash flood warnings. The The river not far from here is, is flooding already. It's pretty crazy how much rain we've got. All right, so an update on the day. I have been just knocking stuff out as best I can. Got my B-roll challenge done. And again, the theme was spooky stuff. So here's... Uh, Here's a sample of mine. So yeah, it didn't didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted it to. I had a slightly different picture in my head, but I had to kind of make do with the time I had. So I did did my best. Also, I'm doing a bunch of work stuff, um, both some notes from the week last week and also some internal work stuff. Just, it, it's kind of a maintenance day. So one thing I wanted to talk about really quick that was inspired by going to that blacksmith shop. There's so many days where people are, oh, it's just another day. Or, you know, if you have the same job, you have kind of that groundhog day effect where it's the same day over and over and over again. Don't discount those days. Those are good days too. Every day you wake up, it's a great day. Recently at that, actually at one of the open houses that I had in the vlog a few weeks back, a colleague of mine pulled me aside and said, um, hey, I just want you to know I was diagnosed last week with cancer. Said it was treatable but not curable. So on those days where you're feeling like, oh, it's just another day or you're, you're dragging or whatever, still still be thankful for those days. One thing I used to do when I, when I was stressed or I was in a rut and it, and it just felt like everything was a routine. Sorry, mom and dad. Yes, I used to cut class <laughs> once in a while. So if I was stressed out, I'd get in class and I'd, I would, I'd be sitting in my seat and I would just get overly hot, overly warm, and like my skin was kind of crawling and, and I just, I, I couldn't sit still, I couldn't sit in there any longer. I would leave class, hop in the car, I would pick a road and just drive. Throw on some music and just kind of clear my head. Now I'm not telling my kids or any other kids out there to cut class because it's not a good thing. What it did for me personally is it just got me, just pulled me out of the, the chaos for a minute and I got to see it from a 
outside perspective. By the time I drove back, I kind of had this feeling like I, I got this. One way you can kind of break out of those routines is do something different. Just if you find yourself in that rut, take a different way to work. It just change your view, change your scenery, and it's amazing what happens. So when I was coming back home, I wanted a cup of coffee. So I stopped in Galena on my way home and I parked and I was walking to the coffee shop and I literally ran into that blacksmith shop. Now, if I would have treated it like any other day, I just would have gotten my coffee, got in the car and gone back home. Because I'm doing this daily vlog, which this vlog has gotten my creative juices flowing all the time. I saw the word blacksmith and thought, oh man, fire hammers amazing b-roll so i i took a detour i went in there i was only in there for like 20 minutes at the most and that's all it took to kind of take a regular day and deviate it to something really really cool i'm not saying every day you have to be jumping off waterfalls or out of planes or anything like that it can just be something as simple as discovering a new path or discovering a new store or whatever the case. Just something that helps you deviate your mind so you're not stuck in that routine. All right, so I have to finish a bunch of stuff up and then get on the road, so I'm gonna end the vlog there. But tomorrow's vlog, it's, it's actually another special presentation vlog. I'm presenting something that's a passion of mine. It's always been a passion of mine, but I've never actually shared it with anyone except close family and friends. So I'm pretty excited for that and very nervous at the same time, but I look forward to sharing it with you and I will see you tomorrow.